So we're here with Dave McCurdy. Dave is the head of the American Gas Association. Uh, Dave, why don't you tell us who do you represent? Steve, thanks for having me, first of all. Uh, our members are the 199 local delivery companies, the utilities that provide natural gas to businesses, consumers, residences. 175 million Americans receive natural gas from us, uh, over 64 million points of service. As the production of this gas has expanded, we've seen a lot of people concerned over the actual production process itself, uh, drilling uh, closer to people's homes, and they have to, to frack the rock, uh, to crack the rock in order to extract it. People are concerned uh, that, that, these, that these fracking fluids are going to get into their water, or, or they're concerned that the gas is going to get into the water, or they're concerned with the disposal of these fracturing fluids. Um, you know, as someone that represents uh, consumers and users of this product, what's your take on this? Hydraulic fracturing is a process that you know, water tables are at the 300-foot level, somewhere in that area near the surface. Fracturing is occurring at 10,000 feet, uh, or even a mile below the surface uh, of uh, you know, the ground. That process, I think, is uh, pretty well understood and with modern technologies can be done safely with casement and cementing. Uh, the surface activity is where we think the we as industry need to work with consumers to understand the potential intrusion of this industrial activity, which is trucks on the road, uh, noise, and uh, some of the uh, concerns over surface water. Uh, those can be managed. But again, working with the states uh, who do have the responsibility to enforce the regulation, we think that they should be adequately resourced so they can have good regulation and at the same time can enforce those regulations. Now, as you pointed out, your natural gas is a cleaner burning fuel than, say, especially coal. Uh, but there have been a couple of studies uh, recently coming out questioning that, uh, saying that when you look at the whole process, that some of the methane actually escapes from the wellhead mm -hmm. and could actually be a, a very detrimental uh, greenhouse gas. Have you looked into these reports at all? And are you still convinced that, that natural gas is as clean as it, as it was once thought? Well, first of all, the basic chemistry makes it much cleaner because it has one carbon atom for hydrogen as compared to other hydrocarbons that have more carbon in the, into it. So that actually be, burns cleaner. But if you look at the full fuel cycle from wellhead to burner tip, uh, it is cleaner. It's far more efficient than other kinds of uh, transmission of uh, electrons or, or power. Uh, it also, when you look at the UN uh, study on uh, greenhouse gases, uh, they used a different factor than what this uh, recent uh, Cornell study had uh, pointed to. And I think many in established in the environmental community and, and energy uh, really don't believe that that, that study was well grounded. Uh, having said that, we also are calling for re more research and development. We want DOE to work with us to, to look at new technologies to make sure that we don't have those fugitive emissions. Also, uh, it's not in our economic interest to have gas escaping because there's a price on it, $4 in MCF. We want to capture that. So you really have an economic incentive, and with additional research and more technology, I think we can uh, control that.